Good morning. It's April 30th, 2021, and I'm Bonnie Grimaldi, the intern pastor here at Lord of Life in Chagrin Falls, Ohio, one of the leaders bringing you daily devotions at 11.30 a.m., Monday through Saturday, on Facebook Live. Luke 4, 17 through 21 says, The scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to Jesus. Unrolling it, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Then Jesus rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. He began by saying to them, Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. This scripture was on my heart and mind as I realized my call into pastoral ministry and read as I joined the ELCA church, and it's very special and meaningful to me. In this Easter season, I offer thanks for Jesus' light, which was not extinguished by religious and political rejection, torture, or death. God is still fulfilling the Isaiah prophecy by the followers of Jesus, as shown by the resurrection and by the distribution of the Holy Spirit. As we live out God's good news, we're called to represent Christ's presence and light. Pastor and gospel music composer Charles Tindley reframed this light, this gift from God, as offering hope to the hopeless, forgiveness to the guilty, help for the weak, friendship for the friendless, peace for the troubled soul, and home for the homeless. I certainly yearn for all these gifts, as I'm sure you do. In our world, we are unquestionably in the midst of upheaval and unrest. Our families, church members, friends, and even ourselves have experienced extreme personal pain, sorrow, disappointment, and struggle. We can name the social instabilities that surround us. They can quickly drive us to despair. However, let us remember the spirit of the Lord is upon me. I admire Corey Ten Boom, who's family assisted many Jews in fleeing the Nazis during World War II. It took brave faith to represent Christ during that horrifying period. Let us pray in these words of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Amen. Well, thank you for being with me today. And in addition to our daily devotions, please join us for worship in person and online tomorrow at 4.15 p.m. for our contemporary worship service and Sunday at 10.45 a.m. for our traditional worship service. Please If you need help in any way, please contact us in the church office and have a great day.